Hey guys, I just wanted to show y'all my revision to the RTX 3060 uh, fan glitch exploit. Uh, I was The exploit seemed to work, but it was, it was unstable, and we were having to overclock it so high that when I was switching to Ethereum from Ergo, that Ethereum was crashing as well. So I came up with a little bit of a different way to do this. So right here you can see I've got two 3060s running, we're mining Ergo. Uh, you know, normal. What do we got here? 106, 125. My overclock settings. Of course, you want to set your overclock settings before. It's different for different cards. So on my dual fan RTX 3060s, I actually started off with 2700 and 2700, but the top card, my GPU Zero, was uh, throwing up an overheating error and shutting itself down before it would crash. So I went up to 28, and then I went up to 2900, and then it would crash. So what we need to do is you need to just set up two flight sheets. Make an ergo flight sheet. Uh, I think I'm using a nano pool for the pool MB minor, MB minor version 37.2. That's what I got running now. And then you want to set up an Ethereum flight sheet, which I just have uh, Gemini with Ethermine using T Rex miner. So you can see now that we're mining. So what we need to do now is we need to crash our cards. So rather than overclocking them so high to crash them, which on these cars I was having to clock it at 3200 to clock them, so it's much lower. What we I did was I manually crashed it by forcing a manual overheat by holding the fans. So if we go over, hang on. First, let me open up my miner. If we go to the uh, IP address right here. I'm gonna bring this over here, uh, user one for the password minor so you can see we're mining along okay so whenever the card crashes it'll throw up five or six lines of red text so let's go crash our card we'll do it one at a time so our first card i'm just going to hold the fans to crash it so let's just wait it takes about a about a minute maybe a minute and a half I feel it's starting to warm up. I'm watching the miner over there. And crash ship. There it went. I'm gonna release. Fans kick back on. Let's see. Red text. We're gonna wait for it to reboot. There we go. New job. We come over to our dashboard. You can see we now have the zero percent for the fan. It's gonna stay there. Back up, back up. Okay, we're gonna do card number two. All right, now we wait. Let's see, I'm just running a uh, Z. 
370 OEM board, Celeron processor. Both of these are on risers. No dummy plugs. Feel it's starting to warm up. There it went. Please. See our beautiful red text. Okay, we're gonna wait. Back up, running ergo. I'm gonna let it run for a few seconds. Wait on the temp on the uh, bottom one to drop down. Okay. As soon as we hit 40, I'm going to switch flight sheets. There we go. Okay, flight sheet. Switch Ethereum. Switch. Miner's going to close. Type miner, bring it back up. Switched over to T Rex miner. Hmm, that one threw up an exclamation, but it should still work. Hundred mega hash. Let's look over here. Fifty point four seven, forty nine point nine, running thirty seven and forty. It's beautiful. I did have one time that I restarted the system and redid the exploit that this card stayed at 27, but I had just dropped my power limiter on it down back to 115, and 120 is what I originally had on, so I brought it back to 120, and it's worked every time uh, since I've changed it back to there. But this has been running stable. I had this exact same setup. I ran it for two days straight. No issues at all. Y'all enjoy.